All right, uh, while we get seated, uh, let's get started. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jemre Günger, and I'm really passionate about the power of technology to transform how people experience art. I also happen to be the product manager for Instagram's camera team. Among other things, our team creates the first party effects that you can see uh, in our app and use to post a story. We also develop the third party effect platform. Today, I want to share with you what we learned leads to a standout AR effect. At Instagram, we have an in house team of designers, engineers, and creative technologists uh, who build the first party effects that reach more than 500 million people that use Instagram stories every day. In our team, we use an iterative process where we build effects based on hypotheses, we launch them to our users, and then not only look at performance metrics, but also how they were used in the wild to build our knowledge. As many of you know, we also have effects on Instagram that were not created by our uh, in-house created creative team. Last year, we launched a closed beta to allow independent creators to publish their own camera effects on Instagram. Folks around the world in our beta have created incredibly cool and innovative effects that none of us have frankly ever seen before elsewhere. Many of our creators had their effect go viral, reaching huge audiences. Some of them even had their effect get used by a celebrity, getting shout outs from them, getting covered in mainstream press because of an effect that they made. We even had a couple music videos uh, shot with effects from our platform. All in all, we think AR and Instagram have this amazing fit. And this is because Instagram sits at the intersection of a visual social network and a community of artists and creators. As we announced in the keynote earlier, we're very excited to share with you that starting this summer, anyone will be able to publish their own effects on Instagram. In preparation for that, we wanted to share with you what we learned uh, leads to an effect that stands out on Instagram and really resonates with our community. We boil down our learnings into these four key points. First, let's start with serving a real user need. Instagram's mission is to bring you closer to the people and things you love. Effects can help this by enabling people to better express themselves and feel more comfortable sharing. We find that successful effects on Instagram serve specific user needs. So targeting one or more of these needs in your effect will ensure they deliver clear value. First, uh, help people express their aesthetic. Instagram is a visual medium, and people want to share their personal aesthetic and creativity. Many successful effects help people uh, you know, elevate their photos and videos through the use of colors, lights, or visual design. On the left, we see Beauty 3000 by Johanna Jaskowska. It was the first effect to ever go viral on our platform. It resonated really well with people in the fashion and makeup communities because it embodied this very cool you know, futuristic uh, aesthetic. And uh, if, you're, you know, if you wake up one day and if you're feeling very punk and want to express that on Instagram but don't want to get pierced anywhere, you, know, you could use Nelson Rebolo's effect. Second, help people capture what they're feeling, thinking, or doing. As you all know, a picture, especially a video, tells more than a thousand words, but sometimes that's still not enough to capture everything someone wants to convey in their post. Effects can help amplify someone's emotions and perspective when they're sharing. We see that on Instagram, people especially love sharing what they're into, so their interests, their tastes, their fandom. So effects that facilitate expression of affinity do really well. Third, help people get inspired and have fun. People sometimes want to share with their friends, but don't know exactly what to say. An effect can help give people inspiration and help them create an interesting story, even when nothing particularly interesting is happening around them. Fourth, help people make their friends laugh. One thing that we often hear from Instagram users is they want to you know, lighten up the mood and not be so serious when they're posting. Effects can be a great way to add humor to everyday settings, and this helps people forge a connection with their friends that are watching their stories. Finally, help people be part of something bigger than themselves. Many people share on Instagram to celebrate a cultural moment, 
support a cause or you know, express affinity towards their favorite influencers. On the left, you can see an effect that we made for Valentine's Day this year. Every year, we uh, make Valentine's Day effects, and they're usually big hits with our community. And on the right, we have an effect that we created with partnership with Juanpa, an Instagram influencer, and it helps people you know, elevate their story when they're celebrating Dia de los Muertos. So we just covered what people use effects for on Instagram. Uh, let's now pause and talk about the how. What are successful effects doing that really resonate with people? So first, I want to talk about getting out of the way. One thing that we see with our most successful effects is people are able to use them over and over again. For this to happen, an effect needs to get out of the way and make people's content the hero instead of attracting all the attention on the effect itself. When you do this well, people can create something entirely new every time they use your effect. Whoops. Can we go back to the previous slide? Yes, cool. Let's now talk about something that I know many of you in the audience is very interested in, branded effects. Many of you work with brands and influencers to create effects for them. And as I mentioned earlier, people share on Instagram to express affinity. They also share to feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves. And you know, their favorite brands and influencers definitely are part of this use case. We see that branded effects that really resonate with Instagram's community feel like gifts from these brands and influencers, instead of feeling like promotions they, that drive you know, specific business objectives. These effects help people express affinity in a very authentic way and feel connected to these brands. And they do it by using branding elements that are not logos uh, to help people express affinity. So you know, things like colors, visual design, products, or mascots. Two great examples of this are this year's Coachella effect and the Game of Thrones effect. The reason why we encourage you to think about gifts, not ads, is because during our research, we find that Instagram users, especially young ones, are not huge fans of effects that have heavy branding elements in them. While people want to express affinity, they also don't want to be used as ads. So people don't prefer to share such effects as much. Finally, on making things easy and fun. It only takes a few seconds for someone to decide whether they're going to use your effect or not. So you should make sure you get to the point right away. On Instagram, people frequently use both the front-facing camera and the back-facing camera to share. So if your world effect does not work for the front-facing camera, people might just skip over to the next effect. Um, on the left, we have Pucky uh, by Thomas Posse, and it was originally designed as a world effect. However, if you're using the selfie camera, the effect still works, and it just sits on top of your head. We also like that um, Thomas offers people the option to customize the effect's color. We think this is a great use of gestures, because it is not a requirement to make the effect work, but you know, it makes it uh, more customized and more enhanced. And on the right, we have Laser Focus by Ben Ursu. And as you can see, not only it works for two people, but when you have a friend, it becomes a lot more fun. So here's our four key principles that lead to standout AR effects on Instagram. However, drum roll. While our most successful effects tend to follow these principles, we've also had a number of outliers become huge hits with our community. So I want to take a moment now to talk about why. And I also want to show you how you could also utilize this effectively. One of the principles that we talked about earlier was on getting out of the way and letting people's content be the hero. And this is certainly true for effects that get a lot of repeat use. However, we've also had a couple huge hits on our platform uh, of effects that do not lend themselves to repeat use. Uh, however, they encourage someone to share because they're so fun and so novel and cool. These effects usually target the use case of having fun and being entertained, as I mentioned earlier. So Optical Camo by Mike Mann on the left is one of our favorites here in this category. You know, it's super fun and novel. It totally hides you out of the picture. So you know, if you wake up one day and you, know, you don't like the way your hair looks, but you still want to post a selfie, that should be your uh, go-to effect. And a couple other examples that we really like from this category are from Philip Bassler and Mark Wakefield. So in summary, 
to create an effect that's going to stand out on Instagram, first, serve a real user need. Second, get out of the way. Third, think about offering gifts, not ads. Fourth, make it easy and fun. And finally, just sometimes forget all these rules and then make something so fun and cool and novel that people will want to share with them. If you're interested in creating effects for Instagram, you can sign up for our beta at this address. We are onboarding new creators every day, and we are very excited to have you and your creations on our platform as well. And to reiterate, starting this summer, anyone will be able to publish their own effects on Instagram. And we're, we're very excited about that as well. Um, that's it for today for my presentation. If you have any questions about anything I talked about, I'll be right outside the hall to answer them. Thank you.